get up in the morning, you get on Facebook, you check everybody, what they're doing, their statuses and stuff like that. I would say I'm pretty attached to social media in general. Instagram, Twitter, um, also Facebook, and blogs for photography. I have a Facebook, Twitter, and an Instagram. I'm really attached to like Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. I'm very attached to my Facebook. Um, not so much Twitter, but Facebook, I'm definitely on it 24-7. I check them at least like a couple times a day just because it's like natural. It's kind of a problem you like constantly logging in. I'd like to think that I can live without it but it's kind of hard because you're wondering what everybody else is doing. I tried giving it up for Lent last year. It didn't go very long. It would be really tough for me to go a couple days without it. If you get rid of your Facebook account and you actually start calling people when you want to talk to them or when you want to see what they're up to, you might feel that you actually are getting a deeper connection with them. I can probably delete it for like a day or two but other than that, I think I pretty much need it. First thing I do when I open up a, a Google browser or anything, my fingers are already going F-A-C-E automatically, just just a very instinctual, just boom, it's done. I'm on Facebook basically every day. Facebook really isn't that important to me. I just use it out of boredom. I could go without using it, but then I have a bunch of uh, bored time to do nothing. I would just be on Facebook constantly looking at people who um, were posting nonsense and after unsubscribing to their feeds and getting them off of what I needed what I had, there was only a select few people that I actually wanted to see out of a group of 400 or so friends. I'm not addicted, but I do go on it often. But I could live without it, so I don't think I'm addicted to it. But I could definitely go without it. I just, I don't have any reason to not use it, so that's why I use it. There's no harm in going on Facebook. But most people who smoke cigarettes can't go a couple days without. A lot of people need it. Um, but I don't think it's addicting like a drug. I think that Facebook has made people less personally social because all they do now is just type on the computer and rather than going up and talking to someone in person. And it's just like text messaging. Back in the, before all this stuff, everyone would either have to call everyone on the phone or go see them in person. Facebook ha has not made people more social in person. Um, I have a few friends who all they do is look at their phones when they're uh, hanging out with me or hanging out with other people. Facebook is no different than, than most things in life. Everything has its bad side, its, its, uh, its cons, its, its things that aren't very just good for you as a person or for everyone. And when it comes to Facebook, I'm talking about like its dependency. Like uh, a lot of people, everyone is constantly checking their Facebook. You know, you have it on your smartphone, you have it on your iPad, you have it on your laptop, you have it on your, your computer. 